Wow. The ground has been anything but quiet so far this morning. After the two largest quakes of the last day were blood echoes at the low velocity zone of the mantle, a couple seven pointers and large aftershocks have begun striking the Japan Russia border region. If anyone shared the alert map from our app on Twitter or Facebook or somewhere else last night, please send in a link and share that link in the comment section today. It was another hit for the red alert star on our watch map, and with our Twitter being suspended, the disaster prediction app is the only place to find those maps. You are allowed to post app screenshots. Just a little note about where it came from. And again, if you did it last night, please share that link with the rest of us. We also had Mount Merapi go off in Indonesia yesterday. 2,000 foot plume and an aesthetic sight, but no major concerns for the people nearby there. Let's shift to the U.S. where overnight the system charging up through the southern states had intermittent severity but was just moving too coherently for major storm mixing. Lightning tracker on goes was wonderful to watch this morning as the signature slid eastward throughout the night. Worse of it comes to North Carolina today before swinging offshore for the most part. Up first in the article news. These are the Lagrange points where you can stably sit without thrusters based on the orbital dynamics of the system. And in terms of...